Hi guys, it's Rach. So as part of my haul of fun, I decided to do a couple of decor hauls because I really do enjoy decorating and I guess interior design and things like that. It's another interest of mine and I know that a lot of you guys share that interest also. So I said I would do some decor hauls in my vlogs about moving and about my new bedroom and things like that and I promised them months ago. So I thought I would add it to this little series of hauls that I seem to be doing at the moment. So I'm going to split it into two parts and this first part is going to be bedroom decor. So I'm going to jump straight into it because I do have an array of stuff that I've collected over the last few months. The first thing that I have here is a lamp. This is from Target. It's actually two separate sections. So this uh, lamp, I guess this is the base. Um, is from Target and you buy that separately and then you can choose what uh, like shade that you want and it can be changed to dust just balls mix and match this is the plain bell shade in vanilla ice this was $15 and then the base I don't actually know the name of it but it's just from the modern living collection oh, this is the Tyson maybe um, this was originally oh sorry Howard 35 centimeter glass ball lamp base and this was originally $30 so this total lamp would come to $45 but at the time there was a sale like 40% off homewares or something like that so I got it for real cheap which was great because lamps look like this can be really really expensive I've seen them for $200 which is just crazy I would never spend that much on a lamp I don't think so um, I got two of these one of them sits on my bedside table and one of them sits on the chest of drawers back there and I just thought they were really really cute the next bedroom decor item I have to show you is actually some frames. These frames were both purchased from Hot Dollar and they were just a normal frame. It actually came with a backing and glass and matting and stuff like that. But I like the look of just open frames. So I just picked out a couple and I have them stacked um, next or on top of each other on the top of my bed. And, and you could hang them on picture rails and things like that as well. Um, I like the look of them. I have this plain white one and there's different sizes and I actually have them sitting kind of crossed like this. I just think they look really cool. Um, these are a, che a cheaper alternative. I think this was around maybe 10 or $20 somewhere in between there for these two. And um, they look kind of rustic even though they're actually plastic. I just think it's a nice little way to add a touch of, I don't know, something different. You can actually use these to frame objects. So you could have this sitting on a shelf and then have an object sitting behind it. And it just, I don't know, it's a fun little way to decorate your room. You can actually mix them in with having empty frames and having frames with actually have photos of your friends and family in them. The next decorative thing I have here is from the Yingaran range from Ikea and it's this glass bowl. I actually have the matching little perfume bottles that um, come from the same range spread throughout my room as well. I just like things like this. This colour kind of works with my bedroom. I kind of tend to have mixes of um, sort of pinky colours and then turquoisey colours. Just pops of it throughout my mainly neutral coloured bedroom. So I thought this was nice. It just looks nice on its own but you could also put something in it. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do exactly with it yet but right now it sits up on my mirrored um, chest of drawers that's over there. Keeping within the same theme, I like the look of decorative jars and bottles and things like that, especially if they look kind of antique. I picked up a few from this store, Bed, Bath and Table. So I have this one here that kind of looks like mercury glass or, I don't know, just like old-fashioned glass. And I actually put the um, these lead light kind of tea light candles in them. And I also have one in this colour. This is kind of one of the colours of my bedroom. This nice little pop here. I don't know. I just think they're really, really cute. These are really inexpensive. They're a few dollars each. I also have these two, again, from the same place. This is kind of the other colour that's in my room. So I kind of mix and match bits of glass, different sizes, different textures to get a really kind of layered effect. And then the last one I have here is this glass bottle, also from Bed, Bath & Table. And I actually just have a little flower in it which is from Ikea, as this little tag still says. I haven't taken a lot of the tags off because I wanted to show you guys and be able to tell you guys where I got some of this decorative stuff from. So you can get these from cheap shops, from um, home stores, a ton of this stuff in places like Hot Dollar and other like the reject shop, things like that. I think if you just mix and max textures and heights as well as, as well as sizes, you can create something that looks really funky and like you got it from an antique store, but without the antique store price tag. The next couple of decorative pieces that I have are from Typo. The first, I just have a plain white letter R. I also have a bird, which my sister got me um, Christmas 2011, so two years ago. 
um, that I have in my room as well. I just like them. It's kind of cute. It's like having your name on the door or something like that. This is kind of the more grown-up adult version of that. And then the other thing from Typo which I really like are these storage books. So I have one of them in this large size. I also have a smaller size which is sitting on my bedside table and my lamp is actually propped up on it to increase its height. Basically what they are is they just look like an old book but inside they actually um, are open so you can store stuff in them whether it be trinkets, you could store cards, memorabilia, you could just store stuff that you use every day but you don't want it sitting out. So you have this on a table and you can just put your keys and other bits and pieces in it and then shut it and then you just open open it and take your stuff out and it just I think it looks really really cute they had these in a brown color as well like a chocolate color with gold and the two different sizes they have this thicker large size and then a slightly smaller size so I just think there's something handy they're both functional and decorative and I like the look of old style books I actually um, want to pick up a few from either a junk store or antique store or whatever and just have a stack of them I think they look really cute in terms of decoration as well Keeping on the idea of storage, I picked up a couple of things just to make my makeup area look a little bit nicer. This is a Vinay utensil cup which came from Howard Storage World. It's just a really nice kind of floral pattern but I actually use it to store some things that I'd like to have out on my makeup table in my bedroom but I don't want it to be able to see. So I have my MAC Fix Plus in there, my MAC um, brush cleanser, my um, Urban Decay makeup setting spray and my moisturizer and I just think it's a nice way like a nice decorative way to keep things just nicely on a desk you could put whatever you want to store in there but it looks nice from the outside and you can store whatever you want inside also from Howard Storage World I picked up this Alua set of two stackable boxes so I actually have this sitting on my desk right now my makeup vanity table whatever you'd like to call it in the top I just have some q-tips in the bottom I have a beauty blender and my kabuki brush and again it's just a nice way to store items and make them look pretty I also picked up these from Ikea recently these are the trip design Inga Leo I guess storage cans basically you get three different cans. This is the largest and then there are two inside that look the same which just get slightly smaller. Again I haven't decided what I want to put in them yet but I really like the look of them. They're very pretty, very functional, versatile but because they are nice looking you could have them out on a desk or on a bookshelf or something like that and it makes it look functional and pretty at the same time. I purchased this birdcage kind of little decor item. I think it's really, really cute. It has sort of hearts in the design. I actually purchased it a while ago, but I was in Kmart the other day and they are back in stock. So I thought since I haven't shown you guys this before and it is part of my decor and it is available again, I would show you because this was really inexpensive, but it was just something that's really, really cute. I have it sitting up on top of my fireplace at the moment. Inside, I actually have a necklace that's hanging. I must have just sat it there. It's a little... um paper airplane necklace but you could really put whatever you want in there. I know that at Christmas time I'm sure somebody mentioned that they put a whole heap of baubles in it. Um, you could put really whatever you want in there but I just thought it was really really cute. Something simple you could actually have it hanging or you can just have it sitting there as part of the decoration. I really like um, bird things. I don't like birds in real life but I like bird decor things so I thought this was really cute. Also for storage from Ikea, I picked up these, I think that, I don't know how to say it, but it's like Kavan Vic um, boxes. I'll put a link to them in the bottom bar below. Basically, you can get them in three different sizes and you can also get them in a navy blue. I have these in all three sizes, but I decided to just pick up this one to show you guys because it's the lightest and smallest of them. What I like about these is that they look nice and they match my decor, but I can store bits and pieces in them that I kind of would usually just store in random boxes. I used to just store memorabilia and special papers and cards and things like that in just random old boxes like cardboard boxes but then I'd have to hide them away because they didn't look pretty and then you can't ever look get them out and look at them because they're usually hidden in the back of a closet. So I'm um, been buying sort of nice storage boxes if you spend a little bit of extra money now you can actually have them sitting out like I plan to have these sitting out on my bookshelf because they look nice so that means that I can have them out have them visible and people don't know what them in them they can be junk in them it doesn't really matter but at least you're able to access them and they'll look nice sitting on your bookshelf so I really like this neutral color it goes well with um, my decor and you can get things to match I also have the hat boxes that match also and like I said I have the two larger size boxes as well so it is worth uh, spending a little bit of extra money to buy nice storage boxes because then you can have them on display and make them part of your decor too. Moving on to bedding so I purchased the Georgina collection uh, King Duvet for my bed this is from Anthropology. 
I do have the photo of what it's supposed to look like here and I'll show you guys what it looks like on my bed. It's really, really nice. It's just white and fluffy and um, has flowers on it. It's more about texture than it is about color, which is what I really like about it. It's very girly, very romantic. It was expensive, but I have been wanting it for years. It's probably one of the most popular bedding items on the Anthropology website and it has been on there for forever like I can honestly say it's been on the website for like the last four years at least because that's how long I've been looking at it so really really nice bedding and it just really sets the tone for the room I think to go with that I did purchase one of the Georgina Euro shams which sham is just another word for pillowcase um, for those of you who are wondering um, I tend to refer to it as a sham because that's the actual name of it but in Australia we just call it a pillowcase um, again, really, really nice. And to go with that, I have one, these are Euro cushions, so I have one of these. And then I also have two Euro cushions from My House, the brand My House or the store My House. And these are from the Avon Lear range. So they're really, really pretty. Again, they keep with that neutral tone, but they also have a kind of leaf motif in a lighter beige color that just add a little bit of color to the bedding. Now to go with that bedding, I did purchase a whole heap of throw cushions because I wasn't sure how I wanted the bed to go. All the throw cushions and the throw rug that I have on my bed and around my room are again from the store, my house. It's a chain here in Australia. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys them quickly. The first cushion I have to show you here is from my house and it is the Camilla Cushion Blossom. And the next one I have here is called the Old Collins cushion in silver and these two cushions are my main pops of color on my bed these are the two colors that I kind of go for this sort of turquoisey color and then this blush berry pink color I also have this one here with these um, pearlescent buttons on them and this one is the marina cushion natural then I have this one here that sits towards the back of my bed and this one is called the Alice cushion I really love the design of these I like mixing textures and um, I guess colors as well. So this has the silver and the gold kind of mixed together. The last throw cushion I have here is just a plain sparkly gold one. And this actually doesn't have a tag on it, unfortunately. So I don't know the exact name of it, but again, it was from my house and they had this in a few different colors. So I used these both on my bed. I actually have this one sitting on the shelf that's above my bed which I think is fine. You can use cushions as part of your decor, not necessarily just on your bed, but if you have a chair in your room. Some people even have them on the floor, like in a corner to just add some decorative color to their room. You could even use this on like a bookshelf. I don't know, I just really like playing with the textures. I love the sparkles. I think they add a little bit of girliness to the room also. The last item I have from my house is actually a throw rug. It's really, really cozy and it's a nice sort of brown color with lighter neutrals mixed into it. Again, it's just to add a little bit of color and dimension and texture to the bed. This is the Jaden Throw In Taupe. And like I said, again, it's from my house and it's really really cozy okay so the last decor item i wanted to haul is actually a couple of candles because a room is just not a room to me unless it has candles and i recently picked up another two candles from bath and body works from ebay which is where i usually buy my bath and body works candles the first one that i have here is market peach which smells amazing. This one is fresh picked peaches by the bushel with a touch of red raspberries and citrus laid with notes of rich vanilla. So I love that. And then the other one I picked up is called cranberry, no, not cranberry. What is wrong with me today, Rachel? It's called Caribbean Escape. And this one is a sweet tropical blend of melon, raspberry nectar and Italian lemon infused with creamy coconut milk smell delicious. They all smell like summer and fruity cocktails because that's kind of what's out at the moment are the more spring summer scents even because America and the northern hemisphere are going into spring and summer. However we're going into autumn winter so this will just remind me of summer when I'm trying to overcome the winter blues. So that is it. That is my bedroom decor haul. I will link my bathroom decor haul if you're interested at the end of this video. If you have any ideas or places to buy good bedroom decor or things that you think I should pick up or look at for my room, definitely let me know in the comments below. I will be doing a room tour, I promise, at some point, hopefully soon. I still have a few things to, a few bits of furniture to get for my room, mainly bookshelves, um, which have come in stock at Ikea. So I will be doing an updated 
uh, room vlog soon or new house vlog on my vlog channel and you can also go back and see the progress of the room and see some of these items in situ in my bedroom if you check out my house vlogs on my uh, vlog channel I'll link that in the bottom bar below as well as a playlist with all my new house vlogs so you can see the house and everything like that if you haven't managed to check that one out yet so that's it from me I'm gonna go I will see you guys all in my next video bye Hi. <laughs> what? <clears throat> and inside that, right now, I actually have them out. I just have some, again, some random things that are sitting on my makeup table vanity, whatever you'd like to call it. So I have Q-tips in the top, and then I have my one of my beauty blends. <laughs> ah, that's okay. Let's just put it back together.